Welcome everybody to the news slash opinions video that I always do. Everything has my opinion, so take it as you will. Hate it or love it, I'm still going to be here, still going to be giving my opinions, and still going to be doing my video. We are going today with Mint, Made Mint, who used to be in Niji Sanji. We all know who she was. She was the fairy of Niji Sanji, and she opens up about what happened with her Niji EN 3D model. It is... Horrible to see, but not unexpected. I have a question about the concert. Will you and Doki be able to use your 3D models afterwards? Will you both have 3D debut streams sometimes in the future? No, that's a good question. I can't say for Doki. For me, I would like to do a 3D debut stream. For me, it's a little complicated. I like the model that I am getting now. Like, I think it looks very good, but I think it might, because it was like kind of rushed, I feel that it might look great on stage, but for normal streaming, I'm not entirely sure. So I actually am commissioning a, another 3D model. <laughs> like it's Well, that makes sense. That makes sense. Sense. If you want it to look great in a concert setting, in a actual stage setting, that makes sense. Actually, in the works. I was with a team that I originally wanted to go with, but they wouldn't have been able to finish in time for the concert. Don't get me wrong, the modeler who is making the one for the concert, it still looks very good. And I think for it, I will like release it so people can make silly videos if they'd like to or oh, whatever. Good, good. Put me in Left 4 Dead 2. That's always good. <laughs> it's because I really want you guys to have high quality, you know? I um, had a dream once where I got a 3D model quote unquote heaven as she's used before and i really didn't like it and yeah. i felt that compared to other 3d models it was not good and had less detail compared to the other 3d models and it made me really sad and i wasn't able to use the 3d model for a very long time and then i asked them to change it and all they did was change the hair color just a tiny bit but i had to wait an entire year for that to happen and they didn't even make any of the changes that i asked about and then wow that is just wow the no changes are made that she actually asked for they just changed the color a little bit here you go here's your change your less than one percent change and i only got to use it like two times and then i woke up from the dream so i was really frustrated about it in the dream and i thought ah i want to have a really good proper 3d that i can use yes 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 but like i said it's not impossible that i will won't use it on stream but i would like to have a 3d debut with the proper one or rather with the second second one i'm getting commissioned dreams are crazy i know right Thank goodness it was just a dream <laughs> very specific dream yeah that is just bs basically she was unsatisfied with what niji sanji put out originally for her 3d model she's like i want some changes and these are the changes that i think would make it look better maybe better polygon count etc they didn't do any of those all they did was one little change of the hair color a little bit and that was it and i was like here you go these are all the changes that we're going to give you pretty much without actually saying it maybe they did who knows but it is not surprising with niji sanji especially niji sanji en niji sanji jp seems to care a little bit more about their livers in the sense of because they're the big money makers en they seem to really have been very not not necessarily even hands off because hands off would mean that you care but you're letting them do what you want it what they want to do in this case it was more like do the bare minimum to make them happy or try to make them happy or at least say you did something and then move on not unexpected but it does suck because look at her now look at everything that she's been able to get now look at everything that she's been able to do for herself as well as doki and others who have left every single person that has left that i've seen on shannon other ones who have left they are doing better they are happier they have uh more control over every single aspect of their vtuber career and it's just wow the big change from you know id en all the ones that aren't jp even some that are jp they are seeing better outside of the agency that says a lot about the agency and it says a lot about the vtubers who were able to withstand all that crap that they had to do and it's, it shows more, it's not the VTubers, it's the agency. Because if the VTubers are able to do amazing jobs as they are outside of the agency, that's 100% all on the agency and all the agency's fault. So today we're talking about one interesting thing that popped up. Like I said, I just use this area for um, information. I don't use it for much else. Uh, just to get me the photos, get me the links that I need. And then there we go. Aqua's birthday is in 12-1-2024. Now this could be a bittersweet thing. It could be something that was... Well, it most likely was a poster that was bought and paid for uh, ages ago and uh, months ago. And it is just going through now. And that's fine. Here's the thing, though. They could have canceled it. If they really wanted to cancel it, they could have. This is basically still remembering their Oshi. Their Oshi. You can still have an Oshi even if they graduated. You can still be their, their Oshi even if they graduated. She's, of course, in another uh, shell right now, in another form. We all know who she is now. But we're talking about Aqua right now, so I'm not going to mention the other person. I know people can say I flip-flop on, on that whole thing. But right now, it's just because I don't want to get people confused on both of them. And I want to just talk about Aqua right now. They are having their birthday on the, on the 1st. 
it's not going to be alive it's not going to be anything like that because they graduate already of course but that doesn't mean that the community can't celebrate her and can't celebrate the memories that they had and can't celebrate the wonderful moments that they had with aqua when they were in there and right now as, as a lot of people like i said already know about the person that they are separately but um i do want to give this over here i don't know if anyone down here talks about it and it's like uh there's a fan project here's the illustrator at least they gave credit for those thingies the original source and of course you know there's another one here of you know everyone having good times of different peoples and stuff like that but here is the original fan post here celebrate me not talk about seventh birthday we'll be posting a support advertisement please come and see us if you are in the area as the shop is located inside of subway ticket gates, you will need a ticket if you're coming from outside the ticket gates. Over here is the people who originally did it. Of course, a little bit more information on it. I drew an illustration for Elnau's a support advertising project. If you have time, please go and check it out. This is, um, of course, Rain found at Akihabara Station. This is a them just remembering the person who they love and they cared for and they had as an Oshi or a Kami Oshi. It's still a wonderful thing to see, a wonderful thing to to know that the VTuber community still has wonderful fans like this. VTubing gave her so much of an opportunity and she has always, and I do mean always, been very thankful to her community, been very thankful to everybody who's helped her out. She's even very thankful to Connor for defending her recently in like in a video that I put out that she had been defended because of the fact that idiots is the best way I can explain it, who were supposedly, you know, they were white knighting for Kai Sanat. Even Kai Sanat was like, dude, chill. No, don't go against Iron Mouse. Iron Mouse gets W's. Iron Mouse, yeah, he always said W's in the chat for Iron Mouse, you know, because of the fact that Iron Mouse with her subathon and, you know, getting, beating the record of subathon, she was actually giving, I think it was like 50% of it or something like that, some large number to, um, to the Immunodeficiency Foundation, to the one that helps her out a lot and helped, you know, her out when she really needed it. So she's trying to help others out. And it actually helped Kaisenat make something of it himself he actually said that that she inspired him to uh make a donation um out of the subs that he got the, the total amount of subs he made a donation to another you know a charity he didn't mention which charity but he mentioned that he did it to a charity so there's things like that and she says here my illness stopped me from living for many years now i'm living life to the fullest as an anime girl online i never used to have dreams i never used to aspire to do anything I thought that was it for me. Now I have dreams and I will work hard to make those dreams come true. And this was recently on the 23rd. And it was, you know, after she had been receiving a ton of hate and things like that. I am not exaggerating when I say VTubing saved Iron Mouse's life. Yes, it is not an exaggeration to say that. Quite literally, it gave her income to be able to get more treatments, income and comfortability to be able to, you know, get a ton of things that you need when you're doing things, uh, when you have the situation that she's going through. I can never even imagine how it feels to go through that, uh, go through that whole thing. And it has given her a, a better situation where she is able to have fun and able to afford everything she needs for a more comfortable life for herself. She's even mentioned that she's been able to move a lot more in comparison to when she started. She's been able to become a lot more active in comparison to when she started. Of course, recently she has been sick and that's why she hasn't been streaming. If people who are Iron Mouse's fans that are watching are wondering why she hasn't streamed for a bit, she had been sick. She even put it on her Twitter that she had been sick for a bit and uh, she's feeling a little under, under the weather. And, um, you know, she because of her situation, that can be a serious thing. So she took her time off. Really hopeless to being the top streamer on Twitch. That's inspiring. The worst part about the hate she's getting from, from reaching the top is that it was for a charity event. She wasn't keeping the money. Even just briefly peeking at number one while running a fundraiser, then dropping back down at number 50 where she was before, was enough that she's still getting harassed by aunties. F the haters, you're the greatest, Mousy. And of course, Mousy is doing something intelligent, which I fail to do whenever I get haters. I'm different. Uh, we're built different. She decides just to stay quiet. I am one of those people that I have to say something back, which is not a smart thing to do. Don't, don't be like me. Uh, do as I say, not as I do, type of thing. And be like Mousy and just let it roll off of you publicly yes privately you can have it affect you that's that's it's gonna be normal but publicly let it roll off of you and just enjoy your day and enjoy the life that you have at the moment is a us-based vtuber agency which aims to build tomorrow's culture of global connection follow for more news and updates they recently popped out they had a first generation female vtuber application that was in may so those are closed 
Um, and of course they want people to get an idea of what Aegis Link has to offer. Um, the, they already have the models out, which of course, a lot of agencies already do that. Like Hololive does that by the time that they are doing, uh, like their normal trying to get, you know, people in there, their normal auditions, they usually already have the lore and everything prepared. It's just getting the names and faces to them behind the scenes and of course here are the eyes the eyes are very well made and i love i love when they do this i love the whole eye thing project sin ed uh debuts december 13th 2024 and their debuts are going to be the mamas for them is kamame is gogo inamori Jusa, love kakao and yuna peng they are all the mamas there they are all the mamas there and of course a video production by the amazing amazing mada krn and it's you know this whole thing um pushing this stuff out and this is the the what they have right now of their uh newest generation their first generation that they're trying to pop out here uh taking a look at anything else and no they they just pretty much are letting people know what they do letting them know the things that they have connect people together expand creative expression for collaboration innovation and learning and promote genuine internet-based connections for people to celebrate and share their passion so they have a lot of lofty goals they have their their mission goals their things like that i just hope that they treat their talents correctly when they're in the agency because even some sweethearts of the vtuber world like idol en have had a history where their past uh management not their current one but their past management had issues with many of their uh, livers and other small agencies also have that issue so hopefully with gen first generation they don't slip and fall and you know step into some very nasty stuff and hopefully everything stays positive and the girls enjoy themselves vols which is an agency that is next gen vtuber production to empower vtubers goal is to propel immersive entertainment by showcasing esports inspired content digital content they are the new having a new gen 2 debut with three new people their first gen was really actually very very cool i liked it uh, i was here for it uh they're going on a bit of a rapid pace of creating more people because you know they, they want to kind of grow their portfolio a little bit my guess and then you know then slow down afterwards they're having a lot of wonderful people as you can see here adora fortune kunoi chisato and viora weiss weissheart i'm sure it's, it's weissheart which is w-e-i-s-s -S. that's uh germanic and here you go kunoi chisato you have uh, Viora Weishart, and then you have uh, Adora Fortuna. They are all fortune. They're all going to be happening on December 13th. So it's not going to be happening anytime soon. They are having their looks here, as you can tell. Each one of their looks right here, you can see Viora. Very nice with the long black dress, the Chinese styled black dress. Then you have, that reminds me a lot of Fauna. To be honest with you, it reminds me a lot of Fauna. But it's just because of the aesthetic of green hair and things like that. It's not a, you can't say it's a direct rip off of Fauna, but it is reminiscent of it. But it's just because it's the color styling. I'm not saying they're saying they're doing anything to copy anybody. It's just the color styling looks similar. Then you have a, an excitable Shiba Inu. A Shiba Inu Ninja. Nice. Another Shiba Inu out there. I know Nidhi Sanji has one that they never promote, but they have a Shiba Inu Nidhi Sanji JP. Legendary Ninja Wan Wan. It's Kunoi Chisa. A nice close look at each and every one of them is really, really cool. I'm glad to be able to show this to you guys. And of course, we have virtual YouTubers over here uh, that gives you the close look as well that I just showed you. And very, very cute on all of them. The Chiba Inu is an interesting one. Very familiar color palette. We have Fauna, Narissa, and Mio at home VTubers. Adora Fortune also flows similarly to the other person's name. That's the thing, of course. Green Woman detected. Fauna without her antlers. Kali with her natural hair color. I Izutsumi from Dungeon Meshi but Dog. Uh, no, Viora has me on a chokehold. Love me green VTubers. I, I, it's, it's, of course, like I said, it is reminiscent of it doesn't mean that they're copying anybody doesn't mean anything like that it's reminiscent it's similar styling you're in the vtuber world you're in the anime world there's going to be a lot of similar styling it's just one of those things it's not copying it's not you know being that type of thing being unoriginal it's just that the styling kind of it fits if, if you're trying to fit a certain aesthetic it's gonna the styling is gonna look the same real quick we're gonna go over well as quickly as i can as you know nothing in my channel is quick but we're gonna try uh, 2024 VTuber Awards voting is on. The best chatting Zatsudan VTuber. We have Matarakan, Cinder, Michi, and Ceres Fauna. Best art VTuber. Dara Pantera, Nino Mainanis, Diariku, Apricot, Fruit. Best FPS VTuber. Doki Bird, Shishiro Botan, Fruit, and Kuzuha. We have best RP ASMR VTuber. Cottontail, Fauna, 
Fallen Shadow Shondo, Nene Amano, and Cinder. Best Music VTuber, we have Mori Calliope, Bao, Obi Katie Cat, Suisse. Oof, between Mori and Suisse, I'm kind of torn between those two. Best Tech VTuber, Vidal, Doobie 3D, Shindigs, Uwo Slab. We have Funniest VTuber, Chibi Doki, Gigi Mudin, Bao, Koseki Biju, and Kenji. Most Chaotic VTuber, Kobo Kanadu, Gigi Mudin, Pippin Pipka, Pipkin Pippa. I always mess up that name. I apologize, Pippa. I always mess it up. Tricky V, Hidden Gem, TP Hendrix, Long Live Rhea. Uh, we have Your Average Bow and Yander Yandere GG. Rising Star, Ariel, Yukinoshita Pale, uh, Server VT, Cha Cha Your V Mom. I'm probably going to be Pale on that one, to be honest with you. League of Their Own, Iron Mouse, Hosho Marine, Doobie 3D, Takanashi Kyari, and Gosegu. I have a feeling that Iron Mouse is going to win that one. Not sure. We have Mr. VTuber, Ike Evelyn, Porcelain Maid, Gavis Battle, and Shoto. Miss VTuber, Liz Hestia, Kiara, Ebi, Wishio Ebi, Mint Phantom, Rising VTuber Organization, V Allure, V Mirai, V4 Mirai, Vichiban, Mythos, and uh, most dedicated fan base, Fallen, Shondo, Swarm, Beetle, Dragoons, Doki Bird, and Jailbirds, Narissa Ravencroft. I have a feeling Dragoons might win that one. Uh, best VTuber Org, recognizing the collective VTubers who worked seamlessly together in creating diverse content. Hololive, V Shoujo, Face Connect, ECG Idol, and Niji Sanji. A lot of people are angry that Niji Sanji is even in there. But remember, they have a large fan base. It's a large fan base. The fans are the ones who decide who ends up being here. It goes by votes. It's not um, the organizers who decided it. It's not like the Game Awards. Uh, VTuber Parent of the Year. Nanolis, uh, Diariku, Kaya Sevenhara. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that one wrong. Twin Tails. Then you have Best VTuber Event. Iron Mouse Subathon 3, WrestleTuber, Hollow GTA, Breaking Dimensions. Ooh, Breaking Dimensions is, is probably one of the one that's that's the best VTuber event for me. I'm sorry. Uh, stream Game of the Year. Recognizing most beloved game for VTubers and fans alike to stream and watch over the past year. Lethal Company, Liar's Bar, Buckshot Roulette, Elden Ring. Gamer of the Year. Uh, Nekomachi Ak Akami, uh, Zentrea, Koseki Biju, Kyla Kowalskia, Tenma Miami. We have Lootuber of the Year, Project Melody, Cottontail VA, Fifi, and Skuchan. VTuber of the Year, Fuamoko, Iron Mouse, Vidal. Doki Bird, and Tsuki no Mito. And those are the ones that you can vote for. It did take me over three minutes to do this, and I apologize. I tried to keep it short, but we're trying to put all of them in there and show them all one by one and give them all their importance. So I thank you for being here. And of course, take your votes. It is available. It is, I believe, the last day is actually on uh, today, on the 26th. So of course, take a look and vote if you can. A continuation of Hollow X's celebration of their third anniversary this, if I'm not mistaken, is a fan project. Hollow X Kikaku uh, is uh, celebrating Hollow X's third anniversary. To celebrate the third anniversary of Hollow X, we aired a support advertisement for the five Hollow X members at Shinjuku, Shinjuku Alta Vision and Osaka Tombori Station. Thank you everyone for your support and cooperation. Congratulations on the third anniversary of Hollow X. Credits are in the tree or in the thread. This is wonderful. Holy moly. It's really well done. Look at that. That is. That's a lot of hard work, a lot of hard work and a lot of money. Really, when you think about it, a lot of hard work and a lot of money put into that. It is insane to see that. You see that? That's really good. And here is um, everybody. It's it's this Taiga person. This is Ryokera. You have uh, I, Aiki KN, Ambrosis and others are there. And of course, here you have um, the translation. They're all the, the ones that are it's translated into Romanji, all the ones that are there, including, you know, more people. It translated into different languages as well and, and different people in there. So, and that additional replies, I'm never, ever going to click that again. I'm never going to click that again. And here we go. The actual visual for everything. There's a Hollow X visual that they used and they made, you know, they animated it into what I had shown you before. Very beautiful. This is what happens when you cultivate your fan base. This is what happens when an agency cultivates their fans and makes their fans feel connected to the people that are in it. This is exactly what happens. And this is why I, I think that Hollow Life as a large agency is an example for large agencies. Smaller agencies can do things different, but Hollow Life is an example for how to get your fans invested in your livers, VTubers, talents, whatever you want to call them. A bit of a update when it comes to things like Raden and things that are happening with her. A challenge from the museum. Make a guess using only the images provided. Leave the PR to us 
even if you've never been to a museum. Rufite Raden, Regloss, YouTube, there's their, their live stream there. Uh, available from here from 8 p.m. Really okay, I'm nervous. Apparently, there's also a restaurant called Hakute, Hakufute Raden, Hakukute Raden. And here we go, right here. It says, thank you for the promotional broadcast at the Tainan Museum of Fine Arts. I'm going to Tainan and next we will show off our charm perfectly. Thanks to the Tainan Museum of Art for providing us the images. Here is the images here. Oh, I love this intro. I love the intro. Very nice. They are doing some ramen. Here's some the, the, the museum. Here's the actual museum here. Here's some images that they have of the museum stuff. Very nice looking. Um, and some of their, their dishes, I guess, that they serve inside. I guess they also serve food. Uh, they have a food court, I guess. It's uh, art. A lot of art looking through um looking through google maps as well there's some uh displays that are going on in the in the beginning in the front of the museum uh an actual display of you know steam i guess uh cold steam because there's like not cold steam cold whatever fog fog there we go and then you have other things like other actual parts out there and you have her talking of course mentioning everything here trying to make sure that you get a good so they did this full broadcast and here we go with some more stuff thinking about it calmly it's amazing that i was given a job in an art museum across the sea thank you it's an art museum that is not in japan as far as i know uh here we go as well with uh jufutu raden saying finally um the exhibition my delusional world is currently being held at the tainan art museum when you purchase merchandise at the fantasy wonderland exhibit you'll receive a postcard if you meet the following conditions, one, follow Rafate's X or YouTube, subscribe to the channel and take a screenshot. Screenshot of this Tainan City Museum of Art promotional broadcast and show one and two to the staff at the shop on the second floor of the museum when you purchase an item. You receive a postcard featuring the key visual of the exhibition. So what you're going to do if you're going to go there, I'm not going to go there because it's nowhere near me. But, you know, you would you would uh, follow Rafate's uh, X or YouTube and take a screenshot of that. Take a screenshot of the promotional broadcast, any part of it. At Rodden is part of, and then you know, show it there, and you get something nice, which is cool. It's cool to see. Pawa Puro, which is you know, the baseball one collab, is happening. The little tournament that they're doing is happening. It has been announced where they are taking a look and they are doing because, as you know, Koiri did the big Hollow Live one. Now, you know, pushing off of that now that they have those permissions, you have Marine, Pekora, and Noel going in and doing their own little tournament as well. You have it on Marine's channel right here. This isn't, by the way, this isn't the actual tournament happening. This is them choosing their people through a lottery system like this. It's going to be a lot of different members going in here. As you, as I have to mention, because last time I had this issue, whenever people are put in here, they are not going to be streaming along with these people. You are not going to have 30, 40 people streaming at a time. What ends up happening? These people will each be represented by a character in Power Poodle, the, uh, the, the game, a baseball character in there. And each one of them is going to be controlled by AI. You're, when when this thing goes on, you're not going to hear their voice. You're not going to see them on there. So, for example, if um, if an affiliate happens to be a part of it, then it is what it is. But it looks right now to be primarily JP. And of course, as you know, with the Vice, uh, everyone in um, Hollow JP, Hollow Live JP, there are a lot of people to choose from. Each team, from what it appears, has two, four, six, eight, ten, about thirteen, about thirteen members each team, which I believe is the baseball team average. I don't know much about baseball. I apologize for you guys. Even though I'm an American, baseball was never a thing. It's like 14 people or whatever. It's never been a thing for me. So I apologize for that. They're having, oh no, they're having the full on teams. They're having more than 13. Okay. So they're having the full on teams there, as you can see. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 people. And there's everybody. Oh, we do have some some EN people there too, at the very bottom. We have uh, Fuamoko, or Mokoko in this time, in this case with Fuamoko. You have uh, Gura, which is going to be a part of it. She's not streaming, but she's going to be a part of it. You have Pavola Rene, which is part of the ID. You have Kaila, which is part of ID as well. You have Kiara, which is part of Myth. Let me see if I find any other EN folks in here that I can see. I think those are going to be it when it comes to the EN folks. You have, of course, Regloss. You have Flow Glow in there. Oh, Shiori. Shiori's right next to Mokoko. My bad. Shiori's in there. And yeah, everyone else is appears to be Hololive JP or Device JP. So, going to be fun. It's going to be fun. All the teams are there. Starting at 1900, they did that. And their full thing is going to be on November 26th. So, it's going to be... Uh, on Tuesday, November 26th, when all this is going to happen. And of course, it's just the captains playing each other. And they're not actually playing each other. They're having the AI play. Once again, reminding you, yes, Gura is a part of it. Yes, all these people are a part of it. You're not going to be hearing their voices. 
You're not going to be hearing them on stream. You're not going to be seeing them on stream. They're not going to be controlling their characters. It's all AI. Welcome back, everybody, to the VTuber Showcase, the place where I like to showcase up and coming VTubers of all sizes, shapes, forms, everything in between. Of course, we have Alka Zero today, a VTuber, illustrator, game developer, love watching anime and Hololive. Remember, I do this to push up the community, to make it a positive space. There's way too much drama going on out there. There's way too many Google Docs, people backstabbing each other, people trying to hurt each other. I don't want that. I don't want that. I will cover those things, of course, in the news section because it is news, but I don't want that overall. I don't want that to, to frame the whole VTuber community as that way. It's just some bad apples. And the good apples are here in this section which is, of course, the way I pay it forward. Uh, we're going to take a look at everything going on. They also have a Pixiv, Alka Zero. This is their Twitch channel. An Atlantean spy and aquatic VTuber. Fun and sometimes chaotic with a bit of trolling going on, of course. the tro We do be trolling sometimes. Trolling is not never a bad thing. And there you go. You have them in their, their bathing suit there. And um, let's take a look at one of the most recent. Uh, looks like it was Horizon. Oh shit, here he comes. I'll be, oh, uh, shit, one's shit. human, one's human. Holy shit! Oh, shit, here he comes. Holy crap! Oh, oh, is that? Oh, well, how did that happen? Oh, 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 shit. Oh, oh, oh. Destroyed it all, it's been destroyed. Yes, I did play once human and I did ride in that uh, weird creature there. I didn't know it could actually destroy um, like buildings and stuff like that if you left it in, in its wake. Unfortunately for that person, I mean to get a car like that, I think it's a really, really, really high level stuff you have to do. So it's unfortunate for that. Let's go to their YouTube side. Here we have it again. Uh, scary Teletubby game, uh, ranked Apex. They are putting things here. Well, they were putting things here when they were putting it for VODs, as you know. As I said before, Twitch isn't very good with keeping VODs for a very long time. If you're on the higher tier, like the highest tier of partner, etc., I think it does it for uh, 30 days. Uh, I think it's like if you use Twitch Ultra, Twitch, whatever the heck it's called, they do that as well. For me, it's seven days. For other people, it's 15, 14 days, etc. But for YouTube, it's forever. Well, as long as your channel is available, they keep it there. So thank you so much. I do hope this helps you grow. And at the very least, the very least, it gets you more eyes to your channel. Thank you so much for watching. That is all the news that we have for today. Please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here, which I will try my best to respond to. I love seeing your comments down below. Of course, as well, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that will give you more uh, information every single day. I do two videos a day, so hopefully you enjoy.